It's been a minute since I gave you a market recap. November stats were released last week by the Ottawa Board, so I thought I'd share my analysis. Hi, I'm Laura Sinor from Max Hallmark, and here goes. Over the last few months, we've seen a trend of increased inventory. This trend continues. We currently have about three and a half months of properties available to buyers. This means that if no new properties were to be listed, we would be sold out in three and a half months. While this feels like a lot, considering in March of 2022, we had about a half a month, it actually isn't. Four to six months of inventory are indicators of a balanced market. Six months or more are considered to be a buyer's market. Labor costs, material shortages, and increased development fees continue to delay new construction, keeping some of the demand and focus towards the resale market. In total, there were just about 4,800 properties available for purchasing in November. This is the most we have seen since 2019, but less than we had in November 2018 showing that we're moving back towards that balanced market. We've been here before, and this is the kind of market that Ottawa tends to stay in. Successful sellers are not looking at what their neighbors sold for at the height of the market, rather than what the stats are showing now. Chances are, if you've been in your home for three or more years, you still have earned a profit. It's a long-term plan, not just about short-term game. What's going to happen for the rest of December and into the new year? December is typically a slower month with only 600 to 800 sales and even fewer new listings. People are starting to focus towards January, which means the sellers on the market now really want to sell and buyers that have their secured financing are serious. Homes do sell over the holidays and it is a good time to buy. We just need to work out when to put the offer in and how to be respectful of everyone's family time. Rising interest rates are going to continue impacting the 2023 year. However, in listening to Benjamin Tao, the chief economist from CIBC, we're not anticipating the same level of increases that we experienced this year. I am starting to see some of those people who are the wait and see coming back and wanting to make their move. If you're thinking about buying or selling in 2023, it's never too early to reach out and start the process. Let's talk about your personal plan. Thank you.